dog has a habit of jumping into the ocean until Sailor discovers why. He was setting up his equipment when a loud plop sounded just beyond his boat. He whirled around, seeing a mass of foam on the water surface. His brows furrowed as he checked around. One of his dogs was missing. Alarmed, he removed his shirt, ready to dive into the ocean. But what would happen next would send him reeling back. Tim and his pups turned off their engine and got to work. The equipment was easy to operate, with most being cameras and rugged stationary underwater recording devices. But the day wouldn't turn out as Tim had predicted. No dolphin was coming close enough for him to start his tests. Although he knew he needed to be patient, he couldn't help but feel disappointed. Two hours passed with Tim and his dogs hanging out in the sun, waiting for a dolphin to come to their boat. They'd already changed their position in the ocean thrice, with no changes to justify their actions. Tim was about to give up when suddenly, one of his dogs began barking. It was Kilo, the younger of the pair, who, unlike Taurus, had not spent much time in the ocean. Alerted by the dog's sudden excitement, Tim turned to Kilo, wondering what could be ruling him like that. Then, he saw the sleek gray fin dipping in and out of the peaceful ocean surface. Tim jumped to his feet, dumbing down his thrill at the dolphin circling their boat. He leaned over to his gear and began getting everything ready. He had no idea what was about to happen. The ocean water churned where Kilo had fallen in. His brother Taurus dove into the water to save him. Tim was about to follow him in when he saw it. The dolphin circling the boat rose to the water's surface. Sitting on its back was Kilo, soaked but smiling atop the beautiful creature. But that was only the beginning. The dolphin whistled and clicked as it neared the boat, getting close enough for Tim to help Kilo back onto the boat. Taurus, swimming behind them, barked happily, seeing his brother was safe again. Tim helped him up the boat, hoping the dolphin would remain friendly to him and his pups. The creature would blow his expectations out of the water. Tim was still reeling from what had just happened when the dolphin reached the boat with its beak. It kissed against Kilo's snout and whistled happily, going over to kiss Taurus. Tim was left stumped, glad his cameras were recording the entire thing. No one back home would believe him when he told them this story. For someone who dedicated a considerable chunk of his adult life to studying dolphins and whales, Tim couldn't quite explain whatever happened before him. His educated guess lay between the dolphin they'd encountered being familiar with dogs or being in a happy, helpful mood. Either way, he was more than thankful for its help.